Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And um, this is kind of a short broadcast. I'm putting together quite a few broadcasts for you guys. We loaded a broadcast over on Patreon a little earlier this evening. Some information that I wanted to share with you uh, about some things that, are, that, are, that we're finding out. But I know that the uh, the uh, there's some folks there in Washington that were meeting over um, Naftali Bennett, the new prime minister of Israel, and what to expect uh, about his new administration as him as prime minister, what his goals are, what the plans are, things like that. So I got to kind of be the uh, fly on the wall, so to speak, and uh, hear about the things that are going on in that meeting and to know uh, Naftali Bennett's own plans. And even as we, he had spoke about in this article here from 2014, the building of the uh, Third Temple, Naftali Bennett has already made it clear that uh, he will be building the Third Temple uh, within the next three years of his uh, time as prime minister. And it is really believed by the American uh, 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 or Biden's administration that this is a real deal, that it is actually going to take place. And oddly enough, uh, some of the details that, I, that were shared with me are some of the exact same details that were spoken about uh, by the former um, parliament member, uh, uh, Yehuda Glick, where he spoke about that there would not be the tearing down of the Dome of the Rock, but actually they would build a third temple alongside the Dome of the Rock. Uh, I did share that with some friends there in Washington that Yehuda Glick had also stated that. And the Yehuda Glick had talked about that there would be a library of sorts that would be for the Gentiles. It would be between the Dome of the Rock and the Third Temple, basically a place where the Christians would be able to go. Um, but with that being stated, this is very concerning, very alarming to me because it is setting up for the Antichrist to come on the scene. And, uh, and, and you got to keep in mind, too, I, I really anticipated that something like this would happen with Naftali Bennett, mainly because Naftali Bennett, being that he is a Chabad Jew, a very Orthodox religious Jew, that this is the type figure that they wanted in order to bring about what they call the Mashiach ben Yo, uh, Yosef, the Messiah of Joseph who is supposed to build the third temple or at least uh, uh, help uh, uh, facilitate that as well as destroying Israel's enemies. That was another thing that was br uh, brought up to me is that Naphtali Bennett is not one to play games at all. There will be no negotiations. There will be no nothing when it comes to Syria that if, if there any kind of strikes whatsoever come from Syria uh, and hit Israel, that Naftali Bennett will strike and he will strike in a way far greater and far more severe than that of Prime Minister Netanyahu. So again, it is giving the appearance that the idea of the Mashiach ben Yosef is going to be played out in the character of Naftali Bennett. And doesn't mean that he is a messiah figure in my opinion by no means but at the same token though is to fulfill talmudic prophecy so i mentioned though that i had heard before from israeli intel that uh, there was plans for using a nuke on damascus in the not so distant future wanted to get an idea of what uh, was thought from the friends there in washington they also concur that Whatever is used by the Israeli government on Damascus, as soon as the first little mistake is made, will be very swift, very decisive, and very powerful, and did not rule out the possibility of some sort of a nuclear type of device being used against Damascus, which no doubt, as many will think, it is fulfillment of Isaiah 17. And I can certainly see that it would be a fulfillment of Isaiah 17. Damascus becomes a ruinous heap. But as I've often pointed out, we find out Damascus becomes a ruinous heap, not as a result of uh, something that 
the Syrians did, but because in verse 10 we find out that Israel has forgotten the God of their salvation and a Christian nation that assists Israel in this destruction of Damascus is not mindful of their rock, which is Jesus Christ. Totally had forgotten that Jesus, when he went over to Syria, uh, that he healed the sick and, and, and cared for the people there. Some people might say, oh, Jesus never went to Syria. No, when he crossed the Sea of Galilee, the Syrians came to him. Because if you ever look biblically, the opposite side of the Sea of the Galilee was the land of Syria. Anything past uh, Capernaum was considered Syrian territory. And yes, Jesus did go there. This is when they took a hold of the hem of his garment and wanted to know more about what he had to say. So very interesting, uh, some of that information there. Like I said, though, there's a lot of things going on r right now, very serious issues in the coming future here in the United States. Uh, I, and listen, I'm not even going to go into the details as of right now. I will be speaking about it quite a bit over on Patreon. But if you haven't got an EMP shield, I can I really strongly encourage you to do so. We are going to see storms and we're going to see all kinds of storms, unusual storms that are going to hit the United States, especially as we get into late summer around August, July, August, things like that. Uh, we are going to see some very troubling issues that are going to cause mass power outages across the entire United States. These power outages are going to be caused by high winds. It's going to be caused by um, some earth changes. That's the best way I can say as of right now, but some earth changes. And we're not just talking about earthquakes, but some earth changes. And, um, and I'll tell you something, friends. There, there is some serious things coming, very serious things. Um, I'm just not at liberty speaking about everything. But let me just encourage you to pray and really seek the Lord for guidance for you and your family on what to do. Uh, I think we're truly living in an hour that you need to seek uh, the Lord about how to handle and how to let, let the Holy Spirit lead you, I should say. Let the Holy Spirit lead you where to go, what to do. Um, I did a message over on uh, Patreon about CERN. Two scientists died at the Hydrogen Collider just recently. No, they've not made it public. They're not going to make it public. But they're talking about demonic entities, people being possessed and easy, more easily possessed by demons than ever before. I'm going to be doing a couple of more videos on Patreon over here over the next day or so. But um, I actually had a really bad spinal headache this afternoon um, and uh, because I wanted to do a teaching over on the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. And I still intend to do that. Hopefully I can do it tomorrow. But this issue with Naftali Bennett, I needed to get this information out to you. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the support of this ministry. IsraeliNewsLive.org is our website. You can help support via the website online. And of course, our address is there as well. Of course, you can see the address here at the top of the screen as you watch uh, the broadcast. So thank you so much and God bless you. And please keep us in your prayers.